is something that is in the process. This is part of it. So we are, the government is taking a step further. We will actually conduct uh, the investigations plus all the samples that have been taken through this process. Then we'll be able to actually proceed from there. All right, away from that developing story, and we head back to Nakuru County to talk to a reporter, Joanne Latin, who's going to speak to the family of the late Sergeant Kipiergon Kene, who was attached to the office of the Deputy President William Bruto and was on duty the day the former sports CS Rashid Echesse and other business people made their way to the office of the Deputy President. Joanne Latin, good morning. It is not a good morning for the family of the late Kene. What are they saying, you know, when it comes to the, to the death? of the sun. Well, a very sad morning here at Chemasis in Rongai, Nakuru County. As you can see, we are at the home of Mze uh, Chesang, John Chesang, who is the former chief here, the father to Sergeant Kip Kipiegon Kene, who was found dead yesterday night. Uh, a sad thing that we have been able to find today is that uh, this man, uh, this family actually learned from the media that uh, Sergeant Kipiegon Kene had passed on without being informed officially by the uh, forces that were involved. And uh, right now, to give us a clearer picture, I'm going to speak to his brother, who is here with me, so that he can tell us exactly who Sergeant Kipiagon Kene was. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Introduce yourself and tell us about uh, Sergeant Kipiagon. Kumajina naitua Emmanuel Kene. Mi undi ondugu yake mkubwa. Na tulipata ya bari jana kusu kifo chake. Haraon saa moja tukiwa na babangu wapa mze chesang. Kutoka vyombo vya bari. Tulikuwa tunasikia na mze BBC hapa tuki kunywa maziwa. Chakushangaza kabisa. Tulisikia tu taanzia. Tunatangaza kifo ya cha sajen kibia kwa nkene. Amba likuwa nafanya kazi katika ofisi ya naibu wa rais. Tukashtuka sana. Nini lifanyika na mtu? Juma, wiki iliyopita alikuja akamtoa mtoto wake shuleni Baringo hai, akamlete nyumbani kwa likizo ya aftam. Na baadaye akapeleka mtoto yake mchanga ambaye ni wiki moja. Akaenda akachanjwa, akapata chanjo. Alafu akamrudisha na baadaye akaru. Tukaongea na yeye ilikuwa wakati wa ilikuwa ya Jumanne wiki wiki hii tuliongea na mambo kidogo na kuonyesha dalili yote ya kuwa na mafadhaiko ya maisha sasa ilipo tushangaza ati tunasikia kifo chake ni kama ali alijipiga risasi ambaye sisi kama familia kwa ukweli hatujaridhika nayo juu huyu ndugu yetu tulikuwa tunampenda sana na kutuambia chochote kama kulikuwa na shida na tunaomba kabisa serikali na idara ya uchunguzi ifanye jitihada kutueleza ukweli kama ni mkono ya mtu naye Mungu aliye juu atuweze lia bure kwa ndugu yetu ndio mm -hmm. tueleze kuhusiana na harusi ambayo tunaambiwa alikuwa anapanga ya mwezi wa nane. Hey. juzi tu alikuwa amepata mchumba sio alikuwa amekaa na yeye lakini ndio tunasema alipata mtoto bibi yake alijifungua wiki moja iliyopita so tulikuwa tunapanga mikakati ya kwenda tulikuwa tumeenda kuambiana tuko na huyu mtoto wa wenyewe kama wazazi tukaenda hapa chini kwa mzee fulani anaizo mzee chepsoi sasa tulikuwa tunapanga mikakati ya kwenda hasa engagement yenyewe mwezi wa nane. na ma tarehe yote yalikuwa tumeyapanga lakini ya Mungu ni mengi tutasema nini Tueleze ndugu yako alikuwa mtu wa aina gani? Alikuwa mtu wa kipekee. Kama ndugu yake mkubwa tulikuwa naye na uhusiano wa karibu sana. Alikuwa mtu wa kipekee, mtu mchangamfu, mtu mwenye mawaidha. Nitasema nini kuliko hapo? Ombileni kwa kama familia kwa serikali. Uchunguzi na tupate haki. Kama ni mkono ya mtu juu mimi sitaki kusema lakini mimi naona kuna kitu ficha ndani yake ndio hiyo niruhusu niweze kuzungumza na uh, baba yake uh, ambaye ni mzee uh, chesang 
pole sana kwa yaliyo wafika labda utueleze ulisikiaje habari hii nilisikia kwa usuri sana kwa sababu ilitokea kwa, kwa radio tu bila sisi kutujulisha sisi na ni mtu ambaye alikuwa anafanya kazi kwa serikali kwa hivyo tulishangaa nini inafanyika mhm ndio ombi lenu kwa serikali ni ombi letu ni wafanye uchunguzi vizuri wasilalie nasikia kwa hiyo kwa sababu ni leo ya mwingine kesho ni ya mwingine kwa hivyo lazima wafanye uchunguzi wa kutosha mm-hmm. ndio Asante sana. Well, Brenda, a somber mood here at Chemasis. As you can hear from the background, that is the mother of uh, Mr. or the Sergeant Kipiegon, uh, Kipiegon uh, Kenei, who has just been informed that her son passed on yesterday, and she is wailing as we speak. And it is a really sad day here at Chemasis. The only hope that this family has is that the government will get to its roots and ensure that he gets justice but for now it is a sad mood here and uh, they are hoping that uh, sergeant kipiegon kene will get the justice that he surely deserves back to you in studio thank you so much joanne latin for that in-depth interview with the family of the late sergeant kipiegon kene who was found you know dead in his house yesterday he went missing on wednesday when he was expected to report you know to the dci and record a statement attaching on uh, the investigations that's being